Welcome back everyone. Here's a quick update that really changed the basement area from an unfinished look to a finished look. To start, we have the bar cabinets. I've never installed cabinets before and won't get into the details of how I did it in this video, but basically you want them lined up with each other and level for the countertop to sit on after they are attached securely to the walls. I used shims for the leveling process and it wasn't too bad to get everything lined up and secured. The hardest part was lining up and cutting out the outlets and plumbing that needed to come through the back of the cabinets. The cabinets needed to be placed so that the vinyl plank flooring can be installed up to the base cabinets. After the vinyl is installed, it can transition to the carpet which will run throughout the rest of the space. The carpet pad was upgraded to a spill-resistant 8-pound pad, which provides a bit more insulating properties and feels great to walk on. The carpet is from Marquis, the style is called Subtle Beauty, and the color is Slate Rock. It has a unique pattern to it, and we are really happy with the way it turned out and looks. We ended up putting this carpet on the stairs as well, so everything matched once you started going to the basement from the first floor. So what comes after the carpet is installed? Theater seats, of course. These are the Octane Cloud XS850 in Italian Lux leather. We went with three love seats for a total of six seats, and everyone has their own drink holders. The XS line of seats from Octane are a little bit smaller than others, which saves space and allows us to fit the six seats across the back wall of our theater area. I purchased these seats from theaterseatstore.com. I was highly impressed with their customer service. They even worked with me to allow me to purchase them while they had a sales event going on, but I wasn't gonna be ready for approximately two months for them, and I didn't want them taking up so much space in my garage by storing them that long. They allowed me to pay for half down, and they held them for me until I was ready to take delivery. Top-notch customer service in my book. If you were in the market, I highly recommend you give theaterseatstore.com a visit. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. After carefully unpacking all six seats, it was finally time to carefully carry them to the basement. The time had finally come to try them out. I am happy to report that I have no complaints at this time with these seats. They are comfortable, with good back and neck support, and should work great for our family when it is time to watch a movie together. Okay, time to get back to work. I will say this, carrying all six seats down to the basement by myself was not an easy task. Not only were they fairly heavy, but trying not to scratch the freshly painted walls, opening and closing the front door while holding them, or trying not to drip sweat all over them, proved to be daunting tasks.
And just for proof, here is my heart rate after I carried the last of the six bottom pieces down to the basement. 134 beats per minute. Not bad. And here they are. They are currently aligned in a slight arc, hence the spacing between them a little bit. They will all fit between the back wall in a perfectly straight line if we ever wanted to go that route. Super excited to have them set up in the space. It is really starting to come together now. And as always, please comment with any questions you might have. The links are in the description to all the products I have used in my build. Please consider subscribing to the channel as there are still lots to come. Next up should be the projector screen build. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.